Hey, what's going on? Um, I just got up a little bit ago. Got my medical marijuana card yesterday. So, this is a legal process. I decided uh, I'm not going to break the law. I want to change the law. I think the law will change. I think it's getting more progressive. I think everybody should be able to get a, car, a card. Everyone in the U.S. and everyone in the world. I told the doctor that. I said everyone in the U.S. He said everyone in the world. I mean, why not have the option to get the card? Then you can do it and it's legal. You know, you keep, you don't sell it. It's not about that. It's not about the transfer of it. It's about the usage of it for personal use, which should be optionally legal. Um, yeah. Then you don't have people selling large amounts of it on the street. And that's the problem with it. That's why people abuse it, I think, marijuana, or anything really, is because, you know, you're, you're, you feel guilty about what you've done. You have shame, and so, for some reason, it causes us to repeat it. Like, you've done it once, and no one knows. So it's all out, it's all out in the open. I want to I wanna open up about what I'm doing, about using marijuana. I don't drink alcohol. Don't judge me. Don't judge don't judge anyone. Don't even I mean look at yourself. But don't judge yourself. Just look at yourself. We all we all do things. We all have a way of life that we live and I think if we're not hurting each other, if we're not violent toward violent towards each other, if we're not aggressing on each other, if we're not imposing on each other, Also, I want to talk about child abuse because it's been on my mind a lot lately. It, I've been going in circles about it. Like, because I think about child abuse, does that mean, like, people have said, oh, this guy's a classic child molester in the making? I've seen, like, comments over there, like, he's just like Charles Manson. And that, like, I start to question it. I, I see it and, it, and it, it affects me. And I think, am I like Charles Manson? Am I a child molester? Is this what happens with people that become child molesters? Or are child molesters people that always kept it to themselves? Always kept in their mind, I'm attracted to children. And then they went and they, they did it because they were ashamed of it. Because they didn't realize, like, I'm not, I'm not attracted to children. But I, there is a physical connection with children. You, you, you touch them. And they touch you, and it's, you know, you, there's a balance. There's no, you, there's no aggression. I, I feel connected to child abuse because Amanda experienced it when she was six, and I see the, the horrific effects of it. And the aggressive, it's like hitting someone. I don't hit people. So, so I'm, I'm like start to question it like there is no wrong it is an experience but everything is an experience and I don't do everything I, I choose the things that I do and I choose to not do things that are violent and I choose to not do like hard drugs anything that's gonna really get my body addicted to it not that there's not an addiction to marijuana like an addiction to caffeine but like an addiction you know I, I, I've never really Experience, like video games has probably been the worst addiction I've ever had. And now I've replaced that with communication, and it's kind of become an addiction for me. Not really. Oh, uh, yeah, I mean, I don't know. Is Can communication be an addiction? Is this an addiction? I really enjoy it. I feel like I'm learning. So, you know, child abuse happens, man. Or at least it's happened in the past. There's no point in denying it or, or being upset about it or any of that. I don't condone it. I don't think that people are doing it anymore. I think that being open about it is what makes it not happen. I think aggressing on another person has moral complication, if there's such a thing as morality. But I think sex, if used for anything other than procreation, 
is a distraction from evolution. It's aggressive.